when you see the Book of Life come out and what we've created there, it's gonna blow your mind. And the artists are delivering something that is truly unique visually. Right now, two years ago, we were starting out to create uh, our first virtual reality project for Game of Thrones. And after the wild success of that, we set up our own dedicated virtual reality studio. And that's what The Martian is as well. It's highly interactive. Most of the story is you are playing the part of the astronaut and you are actually doing all the things to get rescued, which is a story in and of itself. When you talk about hardware and it being clunky, I just look back to like the 90s and the Zach Morris phone that we all thought was incredibly cool. This is where we are in the world of virtual reality today. I often refer to it as we're in the brick cell phone days of virtual reality. The video content that's on mobile, I think that's a great, you know, sort of gateway drug. That's what people have in their pockets. It makes sense. That's their intro to VR. Don't get too precious about the process. If it needs to change, change it. And don't get comfortable. We are risk takers, but we're not, we're not uh, frivolous. We're not, uh, you know, crazy in the head risk takers. Strategic risk. If you don't take a risk, you don't get the reward. We don't want to be safe. A really good quote I heard lately was, "It's the worst it's ever going to be, right now." And it's true. <laughs> it is right now. And when you learn about what this is called virtual reality, you will be amazed at what it can do. It is the next giant leap in how we visualize the world. We've only begun to scratch the surface of the true power of the medium and create content that's unique to the medium. So I think once that starts to take off in a way that's unique to just VR alone, I think that's when people will really start to see its power. You can tell everybody's passionate about this industry, but ultimately we're already working on our next evolution.